All right, hey guys, what's up? Um, now in that video I just did, um, uh, I didn't know whether I was happy about this or not, um, and I just now decided I'm definitely happy. This is a fun puzzle. There's not really, too, it's not too much different than a regular, um, regular Mega Minx, which I have here. Other than the turning, <laughs> I mean the turning's, you know, a little poor, but. I found that out because, uh, that it's like that, only because, um, well, for one, the mechanism, two, because it has a clicking mechanism, so it's not really as, um, bad as I thought, so there's, like, ball bearings in there that, like, lock it into place, I can't really show you, but, um, when I very first got this, <laughs> and I was tearing it and everything, um, it wasn't on video, but when I walked out, of the uh, room um, I was going down to show my parents what I got and I turned this side and well yeah it was the, yeah it was that side and the whole entire thing just came off because the way the mechanism works is like there's like a little ball thing and then there's like little indents with a uh, pentagon in it and then there's another part that you have to glue into there which is actually this part in here and it glues into there and the side that I was um, turning popped off. They didn't glue it down tight enough. So I had to glue it a few times for it to actually stick. But it wasn't too much trouble, honestly. So um, I'm definitely very happy with this. Some sides turn better than others. Like this one right here turns pretty nice. Um, the corner cutting is actually... There's actually like a small bit of it. Not enough to really be considered corner cutting though. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the video. I'm um, not sure when this is going to be up, but hopefully I can get it up before Sunday, which is the 8th, I think. The 8th of February. Um, but if not, that's right, and as you can already see, I'm rocking the new wristband. I just started wearing wristbands too. Like this was, I, I just found this laying around, I was like, hmm, I'm going to wear that. So... So yeah, the shades are kind of weird though, so this, um, when it's not in light anyway, kind of looks like this blue, and then this kind of looks like that, wait, that green and that blue, and there's just a couple of colors that, you know, kind of bother me, but, I mean, they look nice, don't get me wrong, but some of them are just too close to each other, so, yeah, it's pretty nice. And I decided to read that little card thing, and I didn't know this about E3 Cube Store, but apparently they donate, like, a percentage of what you pay them for the cubes, and use the money to pay for, you know, like, people who are, like, you know, homeless, pay for their food or something, you know. I read that. Oops. I keep hitting my tripod because I'm standing up. But, um, yeah, they do that, and I, I thought that was nice. And also, since I'm making a video on this, they give me a 5% off, like, coupon thing for my next order, which is nice as well. Um, so yeah, I might be doing a review on this puzzle, maybe a tutorial. I'm not sure. Um, tutorial won't be that in-depth, though, because it's pretty much the same as the regular Mega Minx, just this one has no centers, and there's not... At least I didn't run into any parody, like there is on the... Um, Void 3x3 three three, uh, Rubik's Cube. So this one does have a different parity where these two are switched. Uh, not those specific ones, but you know, there's two that are switched and two that are correct. And um, yeah, so I didn't get anything like that on this. Um, now, there may have been a parity I got where one corner was twisted and I decided to. Um, what I do? Um, oh yeah, uh, I just thought I had put it together wrong because, um, like when I was solving it, that side came off again, and you know, so yeah, I'm really okay. I'm sorry about that. Um, my camera ran out of uh, space, so I just had to delete some stuff really quick. Um, but um, okay, so back to what I was saying. When I was solving it, a side just like totally 
Whoa, whoa, now that, okay. <laughs> I should probably stop standing right now. Okay, but when I was solving, the last side, which was this one, came off. And that was the only side that came off, and I put it back together in any random order. And I think I may have created that parody. I'm not sure if that was an actual parody or if it was just something, you know, human error. But, uh, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I really don't know. But, yeah, um, so, overall turning is okay. Um, corner cutting, zero. But, overall, I think it was worth the money. Um, that and the, uh, magic that I got. I really like this. It's kind of, I mean, it kind of bothers me sometimes because I have a form of OCD where, like, you know, it bothers me when things aren't solved, one. But this right here, it's slightly uneven, and that that just uh, bothers me so much. Like, you know, you can see how it's so uneven. It just bothers me. I don't know. But magics are really easy. If you didn't know, there's, like, really only one solution but, you know, I, I figured it out myself, there's just, it's, it's just that easy. Um, you know, anybody can figure this out, so. Yeah, that's, um, that was my order. Um, and, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out E3 Cube Store. Um, it's a great place to buy puzzles. Um. Yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.